Use this really pretty detailed snowflake silk screen along with some simple accenting techniques to create sparkling wintry votive candle decorations. Hi there, Sandy Huntress here, bringing you another project using products from the Create Along box. For this project, I recommend you use a straight-sided votive candle holder. You definitely can use other ones, but this is the simplest. Mine is slightly tapered, and this will work, but it's even easier if you find one with straight sides. This one is two inches in diameter and about two and a half inches tall. And if you use one that size, this silk screen will actually give you a band that fits around the bottom just right. And then you don't have to do any piecing in of your silk screen design. I wanted a translucent frosted effect. You could certainly use any clay you want here. But I used Pardo translucent because it's the most translucent. And I colored it with just a little bit of alcohol ink. This actually has a very tiny amount of color on it. You can see on this finish one just how light the tint is. What I did was actually tinted some more of the Pardo and then added a little bit into my block. I rolled out an ounce and that was plenty. This is rolled out on the thinnest setting of my pasta machine, which is a number nine and it's under a half a millimeter thick, so it's very, very thin. You want to roll it out to somewhere around like seven by three inches, and this will actually give you enough to decorate two candle holders. So we'll just burnish down our silk screen so that we get a nice image. And I just love this snowflake border. It's so pretty. And to go with the kind of frosty, wintry theme, I'm going to use some iridescent pearl paint by Golden. Just put some on one end. Use a card. I love using just like a, an old store card. And if you do it well, really, one swipe will do it and you'll have a very nice clean image. Peel that up and immediately get your silk screen into water so that the paint doesn't dry on there. And actually if you can, I've got all this excess. You use hardly any paint at all. I put it right back into the tube as much as I can. Now you just need to wait for that to dry. Once the paint from the silk screening is done, you can use a clay blade or a craft knife and a ruler to cut out your strips of clay. If you use this size of a votive holder, then you won't need more than one length of the design to go around the bottom of it. If you want to make it wider, or if you use a different holder, then you might need to add more silk screening and make your strips longer. I'm just gonna leave a little tiny border down here. Gently release that from the tile. And apply it to your candle holder. Of course, it's easiest if you have a straight-sided candle holder. Then you won't have any issues. But if yours is a little tapered like this, you'll just have an angled cut on the back. And the more tapered, your holder is, the more angled your cut will be. The good news is with this being clay, you can shape it a little. So I'm just looking at this edge and trying to be sure that I have pretty even amount. Oops, and we'll just, all right, well, we know where that's gonna be cut. Yeesh. That can be fixed, so I'm not gonna worry about it.
Yeah, you won't even see that. Let's see, my design ends there, so I think I'm going to cut right here. If your clay is really sticky, like mine seems to be, just be gentle. Just have a light touch. I don't think I'm going to get all of that off, so I will just burnish in the rest. Got some deli paper here. And I'm just going to burnish that. Until I can feel through the paper that it's all pretty smooth. bottom there. Use the back side of your blade. Use the dull side of your blade to neaten this up a bit. I'd say for the back that's pretty neat. Now you can bake this. If you want, before you bake it, you can add a little tiny bit of this mica glitter. I wouldn't you can add as much or as little as you want. I think I'm just going to put a thin amount just on the edges. This is like a combination of glitter and mica powder. It tends to go everywhere. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it looks like I got a little crack there from stretching the clay. So I'll come back in with a clean deli sheet and burnish that until the crack disappears. The glitter and mica will stick to the clay after baking and any excess that is on your glass will just wash right off. That's pretty, very wintry looking. There's a wrinkle, let's see if we can smooth that out a little. And that's better. And again, the blunt end of your blade because the sharp end is beveled, that's why it's sharp. So the blunt end will give you a cleaner edge for doing this kind of a thing. Yes, there's that little bit of a crack. I'm not rubbing real hard, just a little. And I'm going to rub side to side. I don't want to rub top to bottom because then that will stretch my clay and make it visibly uneven top to bottom. There, and now that's all gone. And this is ready to bake uh, according to the manufacturer's instructions. Once your candle holder comes out of the oven, you can leave it like this or you can give it a little bit more dimension with the Snow Rider that comes in the same kit as the silk screen. This is super easy to use. Just be sure to have a piece of paper nearby to get it started. This is interesting stuff. It kind of has a bit of a gritty texture, so it does sort of look like snow. So you can just go around and accent any areas you want. 
and when you light your candle these will be areas that will be darker so you'll have the transparent areas with the transparent clay then you'll have areas with the silk screening that will be a little darker and you'll have areas that will be even darker with these little accents so it just will give you some interesting shadows and depth to your piece and carry on until you're happy with it. Set it aside and let it dry and then light a candle and enjoy. Once again, this is Sandy Huntress for Create Along. Happy creating.